Hi all, welcome back to another edition of Crypto Videos brought to you by DataPlatformCentral.com. In this week, we are going to look into a Transact SQL tip. The reason for this video is a question asked by one of my followers after I posted a video on data masking inside JSON in one of my previous videos. So in that video we explained how we can mask the data inside JSON structure by using the JSON modified function. As a follow up I got a question from one of my followers who asked me like how it can be done directly onto a transact SQL table and as an add-on he wanted to have some kind of a conditional masking which means the data should be displayed as a masked data to one set of users whereas the data should be available as it is to those users with an elevated permission so we require two set of users and the data has to be displayed differently to them for the restricted users the data should still be displayed but in masked condition and for the elevated users they can see the data as it is so he was asking whether there is any way to implement such a functionality in transact sql of course there is a functionality the functionality is called dynamic data masking so when you use this dynamic data masking feature in transact sql which is available in azure sql database sql server sql managed instance and also in synapse when you use this feature you can define what type of masking to be followed for the data which is to be stored in each of your table columns so in case your column has some sensitive data like say for example ssn number or passport number or uh, credit card number so these kind of data you are able to define a mask on top of the data when you create the table and when you define the data the data will be available to the person who is creating the table and he can define the masking on top of this data and grant the select permissions of this data to another user so when he grant the select access to another user who will be definitely a restricted user in this case the user will still be able to see the data but he will be provided with the data in the masked format not in the normal format so if he wants to see the data then we need to give him a unmasked permission so as to see this data so this is a typical scenario that can be utilized for using a conditional masking over our data so whoever who wants to have direct access to our data we can provide them with unmasked permissions and whoever who wants to only see the masked data that means they are still able to see the other columns but for the sensitive data they will still see it in the masked format such cases we will just give them the normal select permissions so let's see how this can be done using a quick demo and how the data will be displayed to different sets of users while implementing this feature to start this demo i have set up a sample data in an excel sheet which consists of some employee details so if you see the data you can see that the data consists of employee first name and last name which is of course a personal information then followed by some sensitive information like email address ssn passport number etc now let's see how we can create a table using this data and implement the dynamic data masking feature on top of the table so as to mask the sensitive data for our restricted users so as a part of this demo we will first be creating a table inside our azure sql database using this excel data then we will be defining a masking on top of the sensitive uh, columns like first name last name ssn email passport number etc and then we will be creating two category of users one would be the restricted users who will not have any access to this masked data they can only see the data in the masked format and then we will also create an elevated user who can see the data as it is so let's see how we can create this whole process so that data can be accessed only by the people who have authority to see the sensitive information and all the others they will just be provided with the masked format of the data so let's start by populating this data into our azure sql database for that i have connected my sql management studio to the azure sql database and we have set up a database called ddm test for this purpose i am going to import this data onto the database so you can right click and uh, go to task and click on import data 
this will launch the import export visa and we are going to import the data from this excel sheet directly to a table that we are creating inside azure sql database so go to flat file source we are having the data in a csv file so you can just browse to the csv file change it to csv select the file next and you can just look at the data and once you are happy with that you can come back and choose the destination as uh, oldb provider for sql server which will work fine for the azure sql database as well and automatically the database will be selected we have to provide the sql authentication username and password here so we will provide the sql username and the password that we created while setting up the azure database click on next and it will just create a table we have to rename the table to employee details once the table is named you can click on next next and click on finish so that it will complete the loading of the data once the export import visa is done we can see that the table will be populated with around 1000 rows so if you go now and check the table data you can see that the table will consist of 1000 rows with the employment details as it is that comes from the excel sheet now we need to include the masking feature for the columns as of now the columns have not been added any masking feature so we will go and uh, run a set of alter table alter column statements this will help us to define the masking feature on top of each of the sensitive columns so we'll start by adding the first name column also and we'll mask it using default function when you mask it using default function then their data within the column will get masked with xxxx characters so we'll be doing the same for first name and the last name and then for the email we will use there is a function called email function which will mask the data based on the email details that means it will only retain the first uh, letter of the email and the at symbol and then the final data just like you do a standard masking on an email data and for the ssn and for the passport we will apply partial functions so so as to retain only a part of the data for example for ssn we retain only the last four digits and for all the other digits we will actually mask it so when you call the partial function you have to pass three arguments one would be the prefix then the suffix and then the actual mask data so we will only retain those uh, um, suffix and uh, for the prefix we will not give anything because we are going to mask every data until the last four characters similarly for the passport number we will just uh, retain only the first uh, character and the last character and we will mask everything between so once you have these functions created and when you execute this you will be able to apply the masking on top of your columns so now we have applied the masking on top of our columns now if i go back and try to select from the table i will still be able to see all the data because i am the owner of this table now to make sure that the masking is working properly we will create two users on top of this database so for this demo i am just creating two users one is restricted user and another one is elevated user because this is just for the test purpose i am creating the users without any login but in the actual case you will create the actual database users itself so i create users here one is the restricted user another one is the elevated user and i am actually granting the select on both these users so on this particular schema i am granting select to the restricted user and also to the elevated user and once you execute this both of this will get select permissions on all the objects inside the database as of now this uh, schema dbs schema has only one table which is our employee details table and so now automatically they both will get select permissions on the employee details table but because we have applied a masking feature on top of it they will get only the masked data from the table so if you want to test that you can use execute as user we will pass it as uh, a restricted user first and then we will check how what they can see when when they query the table so now we are going to execute it as the restricted user the user context is now changed now if you try to run a query on employee details you can see that the data is masked the first name and the last name are fully masked the emails are masked based on the email masking principle that is only the first uh, letter and also the domain details are retained all the others are masked and if you look at ssn it's only masked until the last four characters this which is exactly how we defined it in the masking function and for the passport the first letter and the last number is retained all the characters in between are masked so which means that all our masking feature is exactly working properly 
now if you want to see from uh, other user perspective we can revert this and we can repeat the same for the next user so now we'll revert this which means which, which will come back to our current user my user my default user which is the owner of the table now if i try to run it i will be able to see all data because i am the owner now i am again trying it as the elevated user I am changing the context as elevated user and I am again trying to select from the table and I will again get the mask data. This is because we have not provided any unmasking access to this elevated user. That's why they are still getting this mask data. So I am just reverting it now, coming back to my user and I am going to give him the unmask access. This can be done by using a simple grant statement called grant unmask to the particular user. So I am going to grant unmask rights to elevated user. So once I do this, now he will be able to see all the data from the table like myself. So if, if now I execute it as the user elevated user, you see that he will be able to see all the data just like me who is the owner of this table. This is because as an owner, I have provided him with the unmask user rights. Now if I revert it and again I try it as the restricted user, he will not be able to see it because restricted user has not yet been granted the unmasked permission. He will again see the mask data. So using this kind of type of a setup, what you can do is you can create a table, fill it with your required sensitive data and you can create two set of users. One with the complete access to the data and the next user with only the masked bit of data. This is done by means of this new permission called unmask permission. One thing to keep in mind while using dynamic data masking feature is that this is not necessarily a security feature but this is more like a feature which helps us to avoid any unauthorized exposing of sensitive data. It can't be regarded as a full-fledged security feature because you can apply brute force method and try to guess the data which is within the table. For example, if you regard the restricted user, suppose if you are executing as a restricted user and if you are guessing like it might have some data like say Sonia and if you try to execute this query, it will still provide you with the details which indicates that there are some people called Sonia inside the table. So it's not really a security feature so if it was a full-fledged security feature you could have got a error or it might not have listed any data to you but here though the data is provided to you in a masked format you are still able to filter the data based on your guesses so when you want to apply maximum security to the data you need to make use of other features as well data masking simply provides a one-step process where the unauthorized data is not by mistake exposed to any restricted users who are not supposed to have access to it but of course to make it into a full-fledged security feature you need to add additional access rights or additional features to make sure that the data is not presented to the unauthorized users at all so you can make use of this masking feature in obvious cases where you don't want the people to see the sensitive data but if you really want the people to not provide access to this restricted data better you need to implement other methods like row level security or maybe additional security features hope this quick video helped you to understand how we can implement this dynamic data masking feature inside your tables and you can selectively provide the masked as well as the unmasked data to a different set of users based on their level of permissions as usual keep sending your feedback and let me know your comments Feel free to follow my channel for getting useful tips like this and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications. Meet you next week with another useful tip. Till then, bye and thanks for your time.